Let's talk about Spotlight Mid-Value. Now, if you want to dig deep into Spotlight, uh, 2019 has a pretty good playlist. Uh, it'll give you the Spotlight 2.0 basics and then give you Spotlight 3D uh, snapshot functionality. And there's been more updates since then, but that's a good playlist to check out if you want to get caught up in a deep dive on Spotlight functionality. But we'll touch on the basics here. Uh, as far as Mid-Value goes, in order to show that off, I'm going to go into my simple brush here. We're going to grab a plain 3D, drag it down to our canvas, go into Edit Mode or hit T on our keyboard, Make Poly Mesh 3D, and I need more resolution on here because we're going to be, you know, sculpting on this plane here. So let's go in here to Geometry. I'm going to hit uh, Divide that button there, or just hit Control D a couple times until you get up to about a million polygons. Now, how Spotlight works is you go in here to Texture, and you can either import a texture here, or you can select a texture that ZBrush already has. So, for example, if I grab this star. That selects the texture, and then with that texture selected, go over here to this plus minus sign, and that'll say add to spotlight. So you can go in here and you can scale it by clicking and dragging on this little gizmo widget here. You can move the object around, you can set the pivot so you can you know scale from the side. Again, basics of spotlight here. You can add an image. If you want to get rid of this image, you can click this little X button. You can also hit the comma key on your keyboard. Go in here to the Spotlight tab, uh, double click any of these. So we double click this hard surface one. You can see it's off my screen a little bit. All I have to do is hit Z to go into Spotlight widget mode. You can see we have one of these images selected. I'm going to tap out here to have nothing selected. Then I'm going to click in this empty space and just drag it over here to the right. By deselecting everything, I basically select everything and then I can move it around. Uh, and then alternatively, I can grab one of these uh, objects here. So let's grab this simple shape out of here. If I want to swap this shape out, I can go over here and click this little quick select. And then as I go and tap on these, it'll swap out these shapes for a new shape. So kind of really fun, cool functionality. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. I'm going to hit Z to go into spotlight sculpting and painting mode. If I hit Z again, that goes in the widget mode. And again, I can manipulate these images and move stuff around. Z goes into spotlight painting mode and then shift Z toggle spotlight completely off. To bring it back, again, just hit Z on your keyboard. Spotlight comes back in widget mode. Z again. And when I say sculpting and painting mode, essentially, if I have my standard brush selected, we have Z add turned on, we have spotlight sitting here, and I start sculpting on my uh, canvas here, and I hit shift Z to turn spotlight off, you're going to see as I was sculpting, wherever it was white in my image, it allowed me to sculpt through my image and start pulling up on that geometry. So shift Z to turn spotlight back on. You can see that's exactly what happens. So I'm going to hit control Z on my keyboard. Let's change our stroke, so our standard brush stroke. Change our stroke over here to drag rect, and now we can just click and drag on our object here. And when we pull, and then we do Shift Z, you're going to see wherever that spotlight image was white, it's allowing us to pull through that image. Now, let's talk about mid value. So if I go over here to my brush options here, and we go into samples, number one, you're going to see spotlight projection is turned on. That's what's allowing us to have an image in our spotlight that we can either grab RGB information, we can poly paint through the spotlight, we can sculpt through the spotlight because this button is turned on. Now, if we start talking about spotlight mid value over here, uh, and we just have an image with just white pixels, uh, unfortunately, it's not going to do much. So for instance, I'm going to move this image over here and hit Z to go into sculpting mode. Again, we have drag rec selected, intensity set at 25 for our brush. So with spotlight projection mid value at zero, I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to move my canvas over. I'm going to set it to 50. And again, you can just type in and hit enter. And then we're going to click and drag. And then we're going to set it to 100 and move this over. And we're going to click and drag. And you're going to see it kind of looks like spotlight mid value of zero allows us full out away from the surface. 50 is a little less, 100 is barely leaving the surface at all. That's because mid-value requires a range. It requires a, a, a black to a white, and then it dials in the mid-value of those values. If I hit Shift-Z, you're going to see these are just white pixels. There's no black pixels in here. Luckily, let's go ahead and hit Control-Z on our keyboard to get rid of those. I can go into my brush alphas, and these alphas actually have uh, black values and white values. So for example, if I choose alpha 06, you're going to see it goes from white and then it goes to like a little darker gray, a little darker gray, a little darker gray, and then black right at the ring. So we're going to use that to show you a mid, what mid value can do. In order to add this alpha to spotlight, go up here to the alpha menu. And just like when we were in the texture menu, there's a little plus sign over here to add a texture to spotlight. And in fact, while we're talking about it, just go ahead and do that. Grab a texture, select it, click this little add button. You can see we can add 
a texture at any time to spotlight. And like I mentioned before, you can go in here to texture import and bring in your own images, or you can click on the comma key and you can bring in not only your own spotlights that you can save out, but also there's alphas in here you can grab. These ones will be in your uh, ZBrush installation by default and even textures in here that you can grab. But instead, I'm gonna go in here to alpha and you can see there's a plus minus sign in the alpha as well. So we tap that, that will let us bring in this shape right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these. Oh, I still have uh, quick select uh, turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I'm gonna move these out of the way. And now we have this dot. So just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and move this dot in the middle of my screen. I'm gonna hit uh, Z on my keyboard to go into sculpting and painting mode. Uh, in this case, we're not really painting, so we're not gonna have RGB turned on. We're gonna have Z add turned on. Again, standard, drag rect. We have a alpha with a gradient in it. Spotlight projections turned on. Spotlight mid values at zero. So now let's do another test. If I click and drag on my object and then move this over, you're gonna see all of the sculpting information came out from that plane. So let's do a test. Let's change this from zero to 25. I'm gonna click and drag. I'm gonna change this to 50. Move this over, click and drag. I'm gonna change this to 75. Move this over, click and drag. And then finally 100, move this over, click and drag. Hit Shift Z to turn Spotlight off and let's go look at what this did. So if I look at it from the side and I'll put a line on my screen just so you can have that as a reference, maybe a little dotted line. You're gonna see at a mid value of zero, even though our alpha had white and black pixels in it, it only allowed the white pixels to have control, so it only sculpted out from that base plane line. When we we're at 25, that went in a little bit where it was black pixels, and then it came back out again to the Z intensity of 25. With the mid value at 50, it went in even further and came out, and these are about equal. It went down about as much as it came out. At 75, it went down even further than it came out, so it went in pretty far on those black pixels and then came out a little bit for the white, but it is just barely peeking out over that midline. And then finally at a spotlight value of 100, it went in way far on the black pixels and then the white pixels only came up back up to the original baseline. So if I move my plane down again, you can see the result of what mid value is doing. Now I'm gonna load up that little creature we were using in our other demo. I'm gonna alt tap the body here, hit control D to go ahead and subdivide this up a little bit. So if I hit Z on our keyboard, again, we have our spotlight here. I'm gonna hit the comma key on our keyboard, go into the alpha tab. And like I said before, you have these skin options in here. So I'm gonna double click the scaly skin 26 here, and that'll automatically throw it right into our spotlight. Very convenient. I'm gonna scale this down. And I wanna transfer the scale detail to my object here. Now, of course, what I could do is what I've been doing up till now is just using Z add and putting my object underneath and then just sculpting through. And again, you can just click and drag and then hit Shift Z. It'll click and drag your details through, or you can change this back to a freehand stroke. Go ahead and turn that alpha off. So again, when I turn Spotlight on, I can just kind of sculpt through here, and that'll sculpt through my alpha. Alternatively, if I hit Z to turn Spotlight back on, I can actually just have these scales sitting out over here. And if I turn on this little icon here, that is a pin spotlight. So just like in Photoshop, you can Alt tap with a stamp tool and that'll set that stamp, the stamp from that location. Spotlight will do the exact same thing. So we hit Z to go out of that mode or out of the widget mode, I should say, but into sculpting mode. It'll sample from here onto my object. So I can hold down Alt and sculpt through or let go of Alt and sculpt in. Now you're gonna see this image starts getting transparent. That's where whenever pixels are imported into ZBrush that are pure black, it turns transparent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Z on my keyboard. I'm gonna click on this intensity right here and I'm gonna click and drag to the right to take those pure black pixels down to just a very dark gray. So now when I sculpt through, I won't get any of those spikes on here. So let's do the exact same thing again. Let's take our mid value back down to zero and with pin turned on in my spotlight, it'll sample from here onto my object so I can go through here and with a mid value projection at zero, it will pull out where it's light and basically leave the dark holes untouched. If I set the, if I set the spotlight mid value to 50, it'll pull out where it's white and push in where it's dark. If I set it to 100, it'll basically just push in where it's dark and try and leave the white values at the original surface. 
So I'm gonna hit Shift Z to turn Spotlight off. I'm gonna go in here to Alpha. Again, I'm gonna hit the comma key on my keyboard, grab that scaly skin in my Alpha menu. I'm gonna say Inverse, hit Z on my keyboard, click Add to add this to Spotlight. Set my mid value back down to zero. And now when I sculpt it, I'll sculpt out the scales and then in on the black areas. Or again, you can switch over here to drag rect and do the exact same thing. And with this, you can change the mid value. Let's switch over to dot stroke. And with this, you can change the mid value in order to kind of break up your brush strokes, what kind of detail you're pulling in on your character. I'm gonna keep moving around and sculpting more of this detail out. You can go through here and change your mid value so if you want to keep your silhouette, for example, but still add your detail, instead of sculpting out from the surface by having your mid, va mid value at zero, you can put it up at 100, and then it'll sculpt into the object. Again, allowing you to maintain your silhouette without puffing out from your surface normal, it'll push in. If you want to split the difference, you can put this at 50, and then it'll kind of pull out and push in at the same time. And if you just want it to push out, put it down at zero, and now it'll just push out Again, sampling from that spotlight image because if we hit Z, we have this pin spotlight turned on. That way we don't have to have the spotlight over our image kind of obscuring our view like that. But now that we're talking about scales, if you go check out ZBrush 2023, what's new, we have a stencil functionality in ZBrush. If you go check that out, you can see us creating a tiling texture and using ZBrush's stencil function functionality to wrap an alpha to a surface and even use a function called drop 3d to add those details to our object so definitely go check those video out if you're into stuff like this adding scales to creatures